welcome viewers to uh, another episode of book reviews. Today uh, my book review is to do with a novel that I read. It's approximately 95 pages. My thoughts. Firstly, I want to thank Ellen Reed for re recommending me this book. Pride and Progress made me feel at home with the cups of tea passed around, hats, gloves and petticoats. So this is how it goes. Miss Emily Morton is not a fan of trains. In fact, she doesn't want them near the village to spoil the atmosphere that they have already have. After strolling on a lovely spring day, Emily stumbles on a stone and rolled down the hill. Plonked right by the shoes of Arthur Muir. Resident of the station master's cottage, the enemy with the modern contraption. So how does this pan out? Do we see love smouldering like the corals ready to ignite? Or is it puffed away never to be seen in the light of day? We then see the professional side of Miss Emily Morton. She is a teacher and we read snippets of information about how she deals with the kids in the classroom. I was very amused by Sam Cartwright who wanted to destroy the whole entire map by poking it. I loved the trip to the seaside there is nothing more rewarding than finding shells on a beach. However, I was most surprised that there was a mystery to be had when exiting the beach. One will have to read to find out what happens next. Quotes I enjoyed. Now that spring had arrived, Emily could not wait to resume her longer walks in the countryside. It was as much for the pleasure of striding out by herself, a time of contemplation as well as exercise. Well, today is the 26th of uh, August. We are now heading into spring and I'm just walking through what I call a snicket from one street to another and see what we can find. Look at this cat here just sitting there just looking. Uh, cute, cutie, what a cutie. Um, I was going to say that in September, this is a mat, whoops, sorry about that. This is a magnolia tree, and um, they're very uh, early this year. And as you can see, September is also a time when the weather is very changeable. And as I go past one house, we've got more free lemons. Again, um, I see a lot of them on the ground, but someone's offering them free. From her own interest in flowers and knowledge of some of their meanings, she reflected that the daisy 
was usually a symbol of innocence and purity. Rating system. I rate this uh, book five stars. Recommendation. If you are interested in the Jane Austen area, 1870s, Victorian romance, Victorian times, beaches, trains and novelas, then this one is for you. I would like to say now that if you want to have a look at more photos of what is included in this uh, video, then I will link the Instagram link to the photos which are in the description down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Until next time, bye.